Yeah, that's you know that's our legacy of service, sacrifice, and commitment to this country. My my dad was a corporal in the United States Army. He served in World War II, and the Army was segregated at the time. My father-in-law, he did 24 years in the United States Army, uh, two combat tours of duty in Vietnam with the 23rd Division. Uh, my dad is buried in Marietta National Cemetery. My father-in-law is buried in Arlington National Cemetery. My older brother did a, a tour with the Marines in Vietnam. He was wounded at a place called Khe San. At the uh, age of 15, my dad challenged me to be first officer in our family. And 31 July 1982, I became a commissioned officer in the United States Army Field Artillery at the University of Tennessee. And now uh, my nephew, who is my older brother's son, he is a lieutenant colonel in the Army, also a field artilleryman and a paratrooper. And uh, he is heading toward his 20th year and waiting on the battalion command list. So that's that's our family. Well, I believe that we live in a constitutional republic and not a constitutional monarchy, and I don't think that any elected official has the enumerated power to decide who or what is essential. And I don't believe we should be ruled over by edicts, orders, mandates, and decrees, which is something that Governor Abbott did. We should be governed by the rule of law. Uh, when I think about how he changed the election law here in Texas by extending early voting from uh, two weeks to three weeks in November 2020, that's something that's under the purview and the responsibility of the legislative branch. And uh, just look at the fact we still have uh, vaccine mandates in Texas. We uh, have our children that are going through uh, hormonal therapies, puberty blockers, basically being chemically and physically castrated. And most importantly, uh, the governor's not protecting the sovereignty of the great state of Texas, which is affecting the rest of the United States of America because we have a porous open border. And if you want to talk about an invasion, we got one right here in the state of Texas with this transnational narco-criminal terrorist organization called the Cartels.